Hey everybody, hanging out with Marta and Michelle, yeah. kind of a dreary day happening here, so um, yeah, we're here making sure that people are um, taken care of and they have Food and resources that they need. Um, so we're all we're all out in the out in the rain, making it happen. So we are, um, we got some goodies here today, um, some Whole Foods items. Also what you're seeing, uh, Marta carrying is, um, some toys. So, um, there's a lot of, a lot of need for things other than food right now. And so we're making sure that, that people, hola Monica, making sure that people, um, feel seen and loved. Um, in whatever capacity. So, yeah, we've got some food, um, some toys. Also got some clothing uh, that was given to us um, to partner up with some folks who are um, linking together with folks in Honduras uh, due to the hurricane. And so there's some um, family members of some of our community leaders who are from Honduras, um, the family members are still there and uh, lost pretty much everything that they have. Um, if you haven't seen what's happening in Honduras right now and Nicaragua and other com countries, um, please look into that and just know that there are a lot of um, people who are near and dear to our heart right here in Asheville that are are feeling the the weight of um, their families from their homeland um, suffering. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of fatalities down there as well. Um, so it's just a really rough time. Um, so yeah, we've we've definitely. Um, partnered up with some folks who are are helping out in uh, in, um, in Honduras um, so so sending some items directly to our community members um, families making sure that that we're helping out that way too so um, yeah so got the neighbor here, uh, Marta, who's one of our main community leaders. Um, the other thing is that uh, Thursday at 104 Sherwood Road in Black Mountain, um, we are supporting a pupusa event. Um, so these these folks have again it's the same same situation um folks that have lost pretty much everything um in Honduras and so we want to to lift those people up and and make sure that we're supporting this event and um if you would like to come support that event um it's going to family members um of our community leaders so uh Thursday 104 Sherwood Road in Swannanoa, 
It's right behind the art space school. Um, very simple, very easy to find. It's the first house when you turn right beside the art space school. So, um, yeah, come support these these leaders and and support their families who are suffering through the the hurricane, the floods. Um, every like lives have been lost. Everything has been lost. So, um, definitely want to make sure that we are taking care of people in whatever capacity and lifting people up and like I said just making sure that people um, feel seen and loved in uh, in whatever way so yeah um, again if you're just joining we are at 10 look -a lane and we are uh, unloading the these red totes have items from Whole Foods I'm going to kind of scan over that, and then I, um, if you'll hang tight with me for another um, five minutes. There you go, Monica. Ten look a do lane, Black Mountain. Um, yeah, so we've got some, some milk here. Organic candy canes. Um, this is really good stuff. It's disinfectant cleaner. So, I mean, this stuff is like $9 a bottle or something. It's, it's crazy how expensive, um, items are that people need. So, um, got some, some bread and some sweets happening here. There's some eggs and dairy on the other side. Um, some grocery items. There's some prepared meals Poncho's putting out. Whole rotisserie chickens, prepared sandwiches, wraps, salads, and things. So yeah, um, they what they do is they sit these items out, and people in the community can come get whatever they need. Um, one other thing, real quick, before I hop off, um, I want to uh, just put out there that we have a fundraiser going currently um, on our main Facebook page. So if you head over to Be Love Dashville. Um, main Facebook page, it's pinned at the top. It's called Winter Survival Kits for Homeless Friends. So, it is exactly what it sounds like. Um, if you click on that fundraiser, you will see all the items that are going to be in the survival kits. So, we are raising money to create the, the kits. Um, and so, uh, they'll have a waterproof backpack, an emergency tube tent, um, and what that is, is kind of a, it's like a triangle tent that is long enough for, um, I think it's like seven feet long or something. Um, and, uh, it's made out of mylar material, which is the, the emergency, um, aluminum style, the blankets that you see. Um, but this material is thicker, um, and the outside of this tent is also waterproof. So, um, each kit will have one of those. It'll have an emergency sleeping bag, which is made out of the sim similar material, um, but folks can actually wrap up in that. We'll have an additional um, emergency blanket, the Mylar material, um, hot hands, also some immune-boosting items, um, vitamin C and such, um, as well as information. So we'll have some information on um, how to use the, the survival gear, but also... Um, kind of, you know, COVID information, um, prevention, that kind of thing. Also, some resources for folks uh, throughout the winter. So, um, as well as mask and uh, sanitizer. So, the whole reason these kits are happening this year is because our city is um, unable to provide as much uh, emergency shelter. Um, still working out the logistics on all of that. I'm not, I'm not sure of the all the details um, as far as if there's any emergency code purple shelter or not. Um, I've heard both. I've heard that there's none, and I've also heard that there's one shelter that's going to open slightly, um, which there's hundreds of people out on the street um, any given night in Asheville, Buncombe County. So um, even one shelter opening a few spaces is not going to um, get all the people off the street. And so um, we know all too well that there's too many people that die out on the street. And so, um, you know, we, we had a woman who froze to death in October 
um, four years ago and of 16, October 16th. And um, so that was pretty much um, what forced us into um, stepping forward and, and doing something as a group of folks who have experienced homelessness and who are who at the time were experiencing homelessness um, and some still are. And so through our Homeless Voice crew, uh, we gathered around after Janet Jones froze to death and we talked about, you know, what we were going to do as a as a community of people who know the impact of suffering through the, the housing crisis and, and living on the street. And so we created the Street Medic team. And so that, that was um, four years ago that that's happened. And so... Uh, the street medics have been out on the street training, um, doing outreach, providing um, first aid supplies, camping gear, um, resources, and that kind of thing, like I said, for four years. So uh, we've got a lot of rapport with folks on the street. People trust and, and know us, and um, so we have a lot, of, a lot of people that we love and care about on the street that we know are going to be out in the cold. Um, freezing temperatures and we're in the mountains and it can get down into the single digits at times and I've heard that it's going to be a very bad winter so um, with that being said you know in the lack of, of emergency shelter this year um, we've decided uh, to create these survival kits um, our goal is to make 200 of them and so we are over halfway currently with our fundraiser um, in a little over 24 hours we hit our halfway mark before 24 hours even hit with this fundraiser so thank you all so much uh, for your love and support with that um, we're we're pushing in on um, three quarters of the way for uh, to be able to supply 200 of these kits we um, obviously there's gonna be more than 200 people out and we would love to supply every single person if possible so if you can donate to that fundraiser please do that it's pinned on the top of our website no not our website, Be Love Asheville Facebook page. Um, also, share that out. If you can't donate, no, no worries. Um, if you can share that out, that would be super helpful. Any groups that you have, um, share that out. Share our live streams out. Share any of the posts that we have out and any of the groups that you're a part of. Um, tell your neighbor, all that. So if you, uh, if you have items that you would like to donate um, or items that you are... Uh, not sure about um, just send us a message and we will let you know um, where to donate those and if we can accept those items um, hola Clarissa uh, so yeah if you um, if you have items uh, camping gear is a huge need so regular tents um, not the tents that I was talking about earlier. Those are those are specific for our survival kits, and I've already got those taken care of um, as far as a, a supplier for those. So if you have regular tents, those are always needed year-round, all the time. Um, sleeping bags, regular sleeping bags again. Um, backpacks, camping, like frame backpacks are a huge need because uh, a lot of folks carry all the stuff on their back, and those frame backpacks allow... For folks to hook everything they have and wrap everything and attach the whole world to that one backpack so those are super helpful um any kind of backpack is helpful um folks can can make everything happen so <clears throat> excuse me um tarps are also helpful <clears throat> excuse me and uh hot hands like i was saying hot hands are going to go in the in the um survival kit but those are needed year round um I mean, we, we uh, will be going out with our street medics like we do every other um, week. Well, we do every week, um, multiple times a week. And so, yeah, hot hands are always needed. Um, so if you, if you have a question about, you know, an item or items that you want to donate, uh, just let us know and we'll, we'll let you know when and how to do that. Um, let me put our thanks for the heart y'all I'm not sure who that is but appreciate it 15 Overbrook Place from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. and that's Tuesday through Saturday uh, is when we can 
I don't know where your little nugget is. I think he, I think he might be in school. <laughs> um, let's see it. Yeah, if you have like camping gear, any of that kind of stuff, um, 15 Overbrook Place, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. If you have a question, send us a message on Facebook because honestly, if I don't see the comments while I'm doing the live stream, I I miss them, um, and I'm I jump right back in the truck and go to my next delivery. So I it's really hard for me if I don't catch the the comment while I'm doing the live stream, I miss it. So the easiest way is to send us an email or a message on Facebook. Um yeah. So Again, if you're just joining, we are in Black Mountain with Marta. Uh just unloaded some goodies. We've got some Whole Foods items. I'll take you over there in just a second to see what's going on. Um, if you're in need of food, you're welcome to come by and uh, grab some food. You may want to grab a bag or a box uh, and bring it with you when you come. But, um, yeah, uh, 10 Lokadu Lane. I will add that address in here one more time. 10 Lokadu Lane, Black Mountain. Uh, we just got everything unloaded, so we ready to rock and roll. So if y'all want to head on over, you can. Um, we'll be out again tomorrow. And uh, let you know what we got going on tomorrow. So... Here's uh, kind of what I was talking about with the prepared meals. So we've got some sandwiches and wraps, rotisserie chicken, there's some potato salad there, there's some good stuff to cook, there's hummus, yogurt, eggs, cereal, some plant-based burger, burger patties, juices, cakes, we've got a whole bunch of cakes right here. Uh, two, three tables full of bread <laughs> and some sweets. So, yeah, come on out to 10 Luck do Lane if you are in need of food. Um, like I said, bring a, a bag or a box with you. And um, if you can support um, our community leaders on Thursday, and also eat some amazing pupusas. Uh, these women are going to be cooking. Um, they're going to start throwing down on Wednesday night, doing the prep work, and uh, super early on Thursday morning until, I guess, until they run out, until they sell all the pupusas. <laughs> um, so probably like mid afternoon, Thursday, 104 Sherwood Road, Swannanoa, right behind um, Art Space School, is where the pupusa event is going to go gonna happen so again um, thank you all for your support uh, where is he oh he's watching somebody Eliza ask where her nugget where her little nugget was <laughs> he's watching the TV oh no watching the TV Oh, yeah, see. She, uh, uh, let me. Elisa. Are you still there? sorry um yeah if you're a monthly sustainer thank you so much um hey uh martha said you can come he's here watching tv uh 
Um, so, yeah, if you're a monthly sustainer, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, this is just part of what you... Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Have a good one. This is just part of what you are supporting, um, making sure that people have food and resources that they need. Um, you're also supporting the street medics, like I was just talking about, um, helping to make sure the kits happen, helping make sure we get camping gear to people, uh, medical supplies, resources, that kind of thing. Also, um, and uh, making sure that um, we get this village built um, this is another one of the other projects that we have going on right now. So, model house is complete. Um, we are still in the fundraising portion of uh, trying to get get the rest of the village built so we are on our way towards that goal um, so if you could become a monthly sustainer or make a donation for that that's super helpful as well so um, if you would like to become a monthly sustainer uh, okay I'll, t I'll let her know <laughs> um, so if you would like to become a monthly sustainer you can do that just go to belovedashville.com click that blue donate button right there and we uh, it'll send you right over to the donate page just click monthly sustainer any any amount is super helpful so um so yeah um thank you all for joining and uh keep tuning in and we'll keep you all updated so just got all the all the red totes emptied out so we're gonna head out and um keep going about the day so thank you all so much adios Say adios. <laughs>